Um, got it. Left. Left. Okay, so I think we're now live on YouTube. I'm um, Lance Nilsson yeah. uh, of the Outcast um, Creative. Um, this is a bit of a brief and okay, some. Okay, so I think we're now live. Abrupt on plug. Oh my god, I can hear myself. I'm. Um, Every time. It's just, it's just me. Yeah, I'm streaming myself. See, look, you can just tell how used used I am to doing this uh, this live stuff with interviews and things. It's completely out of my ballpark and comfort zone. Um, I was even asking one of our guests for next week uh, um, technical advice. Anyway, we are the Outcast Creative, uh, or two of the Outcast Creative. Um, I'm going to ask my friend to introduce herself. She's, she's there in this box. Hello, here. I'm Suzette. And uh, I've been with the Outcast Creators for nearly two years now and just started the Brum Classes, a branch and an extension of the Outcast in London. So it's exciting times for us. Yeah, we're kind of a collective of um, creative people that started with um, acting classes back in 2019. Um, the seed for those was germinated with two of us who used to teach at Timber Theatre which was started by our friends, Dexter Fletcher and our great friend, the late um, Graham Fletcher Cook. Um, and we run these drop-in acting classes for people who, regardless of levels of experience, can just come along and get involved in things. Uh, and then we did shows on top of that. And then, then of course, lockdown happened and we took everything online. And then we started performing shows online because we were reading so many scripts over Zoom. We thought maybe we can do some of these online. Um, we want to do more with our channel um, and next week, Wednesday of next week, February the 2nd, at approximately about 8pm, we're going to be doing the first of our, um, I guess you'd call it an industry interview, creative industry interview. Um, so we won't be uh, interviewing too many Belgian cheesemakers, uh, but we hope to be interviewing many actors, uh, directors, technicians, cameramen, makeup artists, all sorts. Um, everybody who works in the industry, be it on stage or film in the creative industry, maybe not so much the music industry, although I suppose we might do, do some of those as well in time. Um, but we're all big lovers of theatre and film. Uh, who are we going to be interviewing next week, uh, Suzette, at eight o'clock on the 2nd of February? Uh, next week, we will be interviewing the wonderful, talented actor that is Jason Fleming. We will. Shall we see a bit of him? Yeah, go on, put some in a, in a In a, in a, a lesser known, well, lesser well known film that he did a, did a, a supporting role in. Let's have a quick what look. Is it dance? Uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. Off at the next stop. So, what are you doing here? I'm supposed to be on another day with my. I just had to get out of London for a bit. Yeah, well, nothing will suck the life and soul out of you quite like London. LA, maybe. Ozzy. Hector. Oh, Hector's house. <sighs> well, I guess I'll be seeing you around once I work out how to get to bloody Icaria. Oh, look on the bright side. Got three weeks to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that is um, from the film The Journey, which I think will be more readily accessible to people towards the end of this year, um, if we're lucky. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, that's Jason Fleming acting in a scene with our good friend and co-founder of The Outcast, Dickon Tolson. Dickon. Yeah. So if I was really organised, I'd have one of those little applause things to play right now where people go, <sighs> but yeah, I haven't got one of those. Um, so, but what's also really special about next week is we've got two guest co-hosts coming on that many of our Outcast 100 plus membership are um, big fans of. Um, and uh, that's two of the most popular um, YouTube film and television series uh, reviewers. Uh, who are they, Suzette? They are the critical what? drinker. And Mauler. The critical drinker, um, who also is a, an accomplished novelist, um, writes the Ryan Drake series. Check it out on Amazon and um, Mauler. Uh, I first started supporting 
um, the Critical Drinkers channel just not long after it first started, actually. And um, his videos really made me laugh, but they were also, I thought they were written by somebody who was, who'd been working in the, in the industry for many years. Because mm-hmm. uh, he came across like somebody who'd been working in the industry for a long time. Um, but actually, just as a writer, as a novelist, because I don't think he'd, re- I think he's writing some scripts now, but I don't think he'd done any back then. He just understood what made um, good storytelling, the beats and the arcs of good yeah. storytelling and characters and narratives and that kind of thing. Mm. And um, because he didn't have any ties to the industry, he was not afraid to call out. Yeah. Um, the industry, the mainstream industry, with what's happening with a lot of films now, that they're just all just so banal and awful, and really poor writing, and and a lot of people being pushed in, pushed into jobs that they're really not. I don't think they're ready for yet, um, and we're getting a lot of crap. Um, and mm. um, and what I like about him is he plugs stuff that he likes as well. He he recommends a lot of good things and um he's not afraid to uh give stuff stuff a plug he just did um a great video on midnight mass uh which is one of my favorite tv series of 2021 did you see that suze about the vampires on the island no tell me about that yeah you should check it out it's good um so we've got them on and I mean, I haven't got a lot of questions to ask Jason because I've known him for many years and I thought it would be good to um, have some co-hosts on uh, who could ask him questions. But if you've got any questions you would like us to put to the actor Jason Fleming, um, please drop us a line on our Facebook page. That's the best way to correspond uh, correspond with us. Yeah. Um, Look it up on Facebook under Suzette. The Outcast Creative. Yeah, it's not literally under Suzette. It's, It's the Outcast Creative. So, um, and uh, both myself and Suze will be on, uh, along with Dickon as well, I think, of the Outcasts. And we hope the Critical Drinker and Mauler. And we hope also Jason Fleming. Uh, if he doesn't turn up, we won't have much of a show. Um, <laughs> that'll be approximately eight o'clock live. Uh, we'll go for as long as we feel we can get away with keeping Fleming on the call. Yeah. Um, and we really look forward to having you guys tune in and check it out. Um, yeah. We plan to be doing a lot more of these, so <laughs> I hate the the phrase, but like and subscribe. Oh, um, wow. Do check out um, the Critical Drinkers channel and Mauler's channel if you haven't already. Yeah, I think, um, I'll so get the around to page. putting the links. They're on the yeah. Facebook page now. They're on the Facebook page as well. Um, yeah. Again, we are a bit new to this, so um, it's not our main area of expertise. I can write a good script, but I'm quite crap at running a YouTube channel. <laughs> so, um, yeah, look forward to having you tune in. It should be a nice, relaxed um, interview. I'm sure um, uh, Drinker and Mauler will have um, some very interesting questions uh, for Jason. And I'm sure Jason will have a lot of stories. Um, the man has been in over 200 movies and television episodes yeah. and worked with some of the very best um, in the industry. And he's a fantastically lovely bloke as well and does a lot to support independent film. So we're very happy to have him as our first guest on um, the Outcast Creative Industry Chats. Uh, brilliant. Have I, have I missed anything? Well, he's been in a couple of our things that we did on Zoom as well, which is very... Yeah, so I wasn't going to say that, but, um, but that's because you did. He has. Um, he, he has been in a couple of our live shows where we've kind of done script reads live online, but we've we've pushed them a bit further so that they're not just actors reading a script on camera. We try to make them more of a performance. Yeah. He's in 13 Seconds in Kent State, which you have a poster of behind you. Yes. And also Martinet. He's in the top row, isn't he? Is he in the top row? Top, top right. Second top right. Point. I thought top right said Glennie. No, next to him, next to second from the end. Yeah, I mean, they, they look so alike. Um, so, um, actually, Ed Glennie did play the younger version of him, so <laughs> in that, in that. And then they were also in, um, uh, he was also in Martianess Inquiry. Yes. Yeah, that's right. 
Um, mm. Actually, and him and I got to do a scene together in that, which was a lot of fun. Yes, you look like so, you time. I uh, also want to say they're live now. Um, there's some other YouTubers that I'm, I'm big fans of, um, particularly Gary of Nerdrotic. I've got their channel on my um, screen at the minute. They're showing a clip of Stingray. Um, I feel like I'm missing out, and I feel like this lady, Nina Infinity, might be seeing this for the first time, judging from the reactions of her face. But, uh, it, it's as his birthday today, um, as who... Um, heals baby faces his uh, channel name um, he, he's also uh, a critique a, a critic as it were um, not afraid to call people out when he thinks they're making rubbish uh, he, they're all live at the minute Mauler Nerdrotic Critical Drinker was there as well but he, he had to leave early uh, and they're doing stuff right now but it's as his birthday today so we just thought from the Outcast Creative as we'll just wish you a happy birthday uh, before we go the card is in the post along with a box of chocolates. Vegan, of course. Um, yeah, anything else to say? <laughs> no, I think it's going to be a lot of fun next week, so I'm looking forward to that and to hear some of the stories. Uh, I think yes. we're going to be quite passive in it next week. It's, I think it's mainly going to be Drinker and Jason and Maula doing all the talking. I'm quite happy to... Uh, you know, they, they while well, they said that Michael Parkinson was a good interviewer, was mm -hmm. he always let his guests talk and do all the talking. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so even though there's loads of things I'd like to talk to Drinker about, and um, they're really, they're there to um, yeah. interview um, Jason. So we'll, we'll try and make sure we, we keep that on point. Yes. Um, brilliant. Oh. All right. So I guess that's it. Um, we've got some other table reads coming up this year. So there'll be some more of the sort of stuff we've we've had on our channel the last couple of years. We hope to be doing some reviews this year as well. Our reviews are going to take a slightly different focus from other things. Uh, we want to review mainly mainstream. I don't know if I like, like that word mainstream, but sort of um, true story dramas and things of that like. I plan on doing a review of the amazing um, drama series Dope Sick, starring Michael Keaton among others, fantastic cast all around in that show. Uh, one of the best things I've ever seen. I also um, am planning to do a review of Afterlife, Ricky Gervais's um, show, which had me in tears. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah. Gonna need a tissue or two for that one. Um, I, I just, very clever show. I mean, a lot of profanity in it, but I didn't mind that too much. That won't be to everyone's taste, but still an extremely clever show though. Yeah, people will um, love it. Yeah, they will. All right, cool. Um, well, I think that's it from us. Yep. So um, it's good night from uh, her. Good night. <laughs> and it's good night from him, which is me. So uh, we'll, we'll see you at seven o'clock. No, well, we'll eight. probably be on a bit earlier. So we'll probably be on about 7.45, something like that. But at eight o'clock, February the 2nd, Wednesday. Um, so tomorrow, next week, plus a day. Uh, I could have could I have said that any more confusingly? I don't wow. think Next Wednesday at eight o'clock, we'll be live with Jason Fleming and our guests, Critical Drinker and Mauler. <laughs> I need more practice at this. Um, <laughs> it's good that I'm wearing I'm wearing a, a sort of maroon top. That way, yeah. when I go red, people won't notice so much. It'll all yeah. just blend in, blend into one. I'm so cold. I've got two hoodies on here. Um, mm. Fantastic. We'll see you all next week, guys, and uh, really look forward to it. Um, take care. And uh, never forget to tell the people.